Well, hello everyone. Welcome to today's blog post. Um, today we're actually going to talk about one more really cool uh, 2011 new tool. Um, and it's called Selection Cycling. So if you notice, I just hovered over a couple of those um, hatch patterns and um, uh, blocks and other things that we had in there. And I couldn't quite grab them easily. So what I did now is if you just hover and you see those two little blue rectangles, when you see them, you can click and it'll open up that selection cycling. So then I could pick which hatch pattern or which block it was that I wanted. I'm going to do it again in just a second. Yep, so right there with the text, I can pick a block reference or the text block reference and it can cycle me through that. So that's the new selection cycling. Okay, with the second part of today's lesson, I'd like to discuss um, something called temporary O tracking. So it kind of adds on to what we learned last week, um, which is standard O tracking. Now what you would do is you'd start something like the line command, and then you'd put TT in the command prompt at the specifying of a first point, hit enter, and then add your distance that you would like to put your temporary tracking point at. Then you can move up to another location so you can add multiple dimensions and we're going to go up four feet. And then at that point you can start your point. So it's kind of like doing an offset without having to do construction lines. A lot of people ask about this so I want to make sure we got it into this lesson. Um, enjoy se selection cycling and O-tracking. Thanks.